Today we're talking about your camera's image sensor, how to minimize dust and dirt getting on it, and what you can do when it happens. The image sensor is the part of the camera that captures the image. There's a few things you can do to reduce the chance that you will get those annoying black dots in your photos. If you must swap lenses, be sure to turn off your camera and keep it turned face down so no dust could fall into the opening. Change lenses quickly and get a back cap onto the freed up lens as soon as possible. Because any dirt that gets onto the rear of the lens will find its way into your camera. As well, keep in mind some of the dust particles in your lens or in your viewfinder will not even show up in your photos because they aren't part of the image capturing system and most dust in your lens will be out of the range of focus. Here's a quick way you can check if that dust is going to appear in your images. Head outside on a blue sky day and shoot the sky at f22. If there is dust or dirt on your sensor, you'll see something like this. Now you have a few options. Your camera has an automatic sensor clean function. Get in the habit of keeping it enabled and clean it now. Before you think about opening up the camera and doing it yourself, I recently visited the service technicians at Canon who taught me about the risks. Compressed air is not recommended. Though you're not physically making contact with the sensor, the sensor is actually made up of two layers and the compressed air can force dirt particles between those two layers, making them virtually impossible to remove. Sensors are delicate and easily scratched. Any contact made with it in an attempt to clean it could potentially cause damage that could cost you spoiled photo opportunities and anywhere from $500 to upwards of $1,000 in repairs. Now if you're on holiday and cannot get to a service department and licensed professional, here's the safest and least invasive option to clean it. Make sure your camera's battery is fully charged because the mirror and shutter could drop mid-cleaning and damage either of them. Brush off your camera's exterior to ensure no dirt on it could get inside when the lens body is open. Power the camera on, go to the sensor cleaning setting, scroll down to clean manually and press the set button. Select OK and press the set button again. With the camera turned face down, remove the body cap. With the puffer in one hand, squeeze it a few times to ensure it is clean, and then direct it towards the image sensor and blow it several times ensuring you're not making contact with the image sensor. This will remove most dust and particles. Now you'll have to turn off your camera to release the mirror and replace the body cap before you add on your lens to set up for a second test shot to see how well you've done. What dust particles the puffer doesn't remove, a repeat turn of the process might. Staying somewhere between 2.8 and f8 will make them less visible and less extra work in Photoshop afterwards, at least until you can get it to a licensed professional. For the Star.com, I'm Tam Stewart.